Hello everyone and welcome to my YouTube channel. This is Dr. Naz and today I'll be discussing about plural empyema. It refers to the collection of pus in the plural space and it microscopically contains large number of neutrophils. It is always secondary to infection. Example paranemonic effusion, tuberculosis, hemothorax, esophageal rupture or rupture of subphrenic abscess etc. It should always be suspected in patient with pulmonary infection if there is persistent or recurrent fever despite treatment with suitable antibiotics. So the patient will have high grade remittent fever with rigors, sweating, there will be malaise and weight loss. Complete blood count will show leukocytosis and there will be high, high C-reactive protein. The patient may present with pleuritic chest pain, breathlessness and productive cough. There will be decreased chest expansion on examination and a stony dull percussion node and diminished breath sounds on auscultation on the affected lung. The tactile phrematis and vocal resonance will be decreased on the affected side. So for the diagnosis we can perform chest x-ray, ultrasound or CT scan of chest. Chest x-ray will show meniscus sign and there will be diminished costophrenic angle this is a picture of chest x-ray and you can see right sided empyema in it this is ultrasound showing empyema pointed with arrows this is chest CT scan and it is showing empyema pointed with arrow B so for the diagnosis we can perform aspiration of fluid under ultrasound or CT guidance the aspiration is best undertaken with wide bore needle the features of empyema fluid are that it is going to be thick and turbid, pus like, and the fluid glucose will be less than 3.3 millimole per liter, LDH levels will be more than 1000 unit per liter, and fluid pH will be less than 7. Non tuberculous empyema can be treated with a wide bore intercostal tube insertion under radiological guidance. The tube is connected to the underwater seal drain system, so it drains all the pus. Empiric antibiotic therapy with IV, cefuroxim or metronidazole should be started and antibiotic therapy should be continued for 2-4 to four weeks. Surgical decortication may be required in resistant cases. For tuberculous empyema, we should start anti-tuberculous therapy along with aspiration of pus by wide bone needle. Intercostal tube drainage is often required. So that's the end of the lecture. If you learned from it, please do like my video and share with your friends and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thank you for watching.